good morning. You join me, I'm en route to Clavering Lakes and Lodges, based in Saffron Walden. I have a match there this Sunday. So, gonna see how it's fishing, what's about. As lots of the fish have been removed from the carp lakes and put into a course fishing lake, this is the lake we'll be fishing on Sunday, so it's be all new. Um, it's got various lakes there. There's 10 pound day ticket on, on, on the day, you turn up there on the bank, so if you get a chance to visit, Clavering Lakes and Lodges, I well recommend it. It fishes really, really well. So let's get to the venue and I'll update you then. Okay, so we've just arrived at the venue, so just making our way through the main gates. Okay, so we've arrived, shown the four lakes. One to the right, the one in front of me is deemed as the course fishing out and out. And over the back we've got the specimen lakes down to your left so i think that's a bit windy today i'm going to go and sit across the far side over somewhere over here and um, be out the wind and be comfortable fishing just to see what the lake's about so let's get the gear out the car and get set up Okay, I've set up and ready, ready to go. I'm going to run you through some of the baits I'm using. So I've got pellet, which is the 6 mil pellets. Red maggot, which I've actually got madras curry powder in there, just to give it a bit of flavour. Uh, dead drabina worms and, and little blood worms. Uh, casters, pinkies, standard red maggot, uh, bronze maggot, uh, micro pellets to add to the feeder. I've done myself a little mix of ground bait, it's normally F1 mixed with some River X, a few red maggots and a tiny bit of crushed hemp and also today I'm going to try the ringers all sorts so I'm mainly going to use the orange wafters because um, they're slightly smaller and the fish in here are uh, going to be slightly smaller so let's give you a view of what I'm seeing from where I am the aim of the pole is to fish 10 to 12 meters out straight in front if the, well, if the wind allows it and the feeder is to probably go halfway across towards that platform there, which is my marker. So on the feeder, it'll be a standard cage going down to a band with a wafter on it, just filled with the ground bait. And I'm gonna be using number eight elastic in both the pole, unless you know I need to beef it up so I can get a couple other top kits out with 10s or 12s in to um, handle the fish uh, but they're both with 2.2 uh, bottom ends on there with a 16 and a 20 barbless hook um, I'm using 04 um, Drennan crystal floats um, but I'll show you that a bit later if it works okay so I'm going to start off with the pole I'm gonna, as I said 10 to 12 meters, gonna drop one ball of ground bait in and I'm gonna start on it straight on it. So here's one of the small F1s we have in here. One of the reasons I like fishing here is all the fish are absolutely in immaculate condition. For example, this one here is absolutely superb. Okay, I've been fishing for probably an hour now, and um, yeah. The wafters are bringing in decent sized fish, but yeah, not as fast as I like in a match situation considering the amount of fish in, in here. But just wanted to show you the stamp of skimmers that these wafters are bringing in. We've got something nice on the feeder, haven't seen it yet. Oof. It's fighting very well. fighting like one of the new tents they've put in here. Sorry for the filming, but I'm trying to do this while playing the fish. Oh, no. It's one of the carp.
This is taken to one of the waft, waft to all sorts. Actually, one of the bigger, larger white ones, which you should be able to see. And it's now. Alright, going to have to put the phone down to land it, but I will we'll, um, get it on camera for you in a second. So this is the result. A stocky, common, must be pushing five or six pounds with that belly. Okay, I've been asked before, how do I hook my pellets? So, I'll try and do this by one hand. So, I actually use a ring that actually fits on over the hook. Let's see if the camera can pick it, pick that up. So it's not actually a haired one, or one that comes off the loop. Sorry about the camera once again. But no, hopefully you can see, so just like that. So the band just holds it. Just across the back of the hook. Well, ladies and gents, um, I really wasn't expecting this. I have a lovely fantail goldfish. So, yeah, wow, a great fight. That, they put that tail really to the use. But yeah, it's my first ever proper goldfish. So, yeah, let's get another one. So, this feels like another tench. Okay unhooked as you can see it was taking on the orange wafter so here we go all right I've switched over to whip short probably about six meters out um, yeah and I'm doing really well on pellet this is a tench must be about two and a half three pounds um, unfortunately, can't keep it in the keep net, it's fishery rules, but it goes straight back, so I'm going to release this one. Okay, fishery rules. <sighs> Tell your friends the pellets are nice. So all I'm doing is putting the pellet out there every now and again, just giving it a few treats as well. The skimmer.
once you've got them feeding this well, it's, it, it's pretty, mu pretty much non-stop fishing, but it's, to get them to this stage takes a while. So it's all about being patient, feeding in the pellets, but not overfeeding. As soon as you start overfeeding, it's going to kill your swim. And yeah, you're not, you're not going to catch much. Only just, just one enough. So as you see, I put the bait in. Once again, get my two or three treats to go around the back of it. Should be really sh shallowing up, as you can see. Some of the fish in the background have um, come up shallow. But I'll stick to what I'm, what I've been doing all today. Some of them are just little dinks. I mean, you, you need to take them on the dinks, but other times you need to wait for the full under. But I think they're on it now, so no need to wait. I'll do one more for the camera, and then I'll put the camera away. It's the same every time. Put the float out with the bait, a couple of freebies. Oof. They are very quick. There we go. Great stamp of roach as well that I've been getting most of the day. This is another skimmer. Better one. Okay, sorry about the light. Can't really see. But there must be 50 or 60 pound of fish in here. So it's a nice carp, a little goldfish. And it's probably the best light I've got. Well, much better than what I thought. Um, ended up mainly fishing on the pellet, which I didn't expect this time of year, and then shallowing quite um, up to probably about a foot, two foot deep, which doesn't normally happen in March. So, great bit of fishing. Um, if you'd like to like, subscribe, or comment if you're watching on my YouTube page. If not, have a look on www.rogerphillipsfishing.co.uk. Thanks for watching.